When it comes to the Texas Renaissance Festival, there are lots of things you come to expect. Food is definitely one of them. One decadent treat after another, and at Don Felipe's Casa del Sol, these chocolate-covered confections are prepared in part by the sun. Yep, up there, seemingly unnoticed by passers-by, are four solar panels installed by Phil Perry. The idea of putting solar panels in the middle of a Renaissance theme park was a little different, but that's what makes the Texas Renaissance Festival work. And work is exactly what these solar panels do, even on a cloudy day. The sun is not shining right now, and the thermostat in that freezer reads 11 degrees. But why solar? Why here? When I bought the business, it came with a very good location, a cart where I sold fruit, and I had it for five years or more. And one day I was told that there was too many carts in the festival. And they said, but you can't have any power. And as the saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. I just assumed that I would find a propane freezer. And I found a survivalist outfit in Montana that had propane freezers, but they also had solar freezers. Unfortunately, going solar isn't as easy as slapping a couple of solar panels on the roof. You need to find the right equipment and you need to know how many panels you need. The freezers are designed to run on one panel. But because we have to be open on cloudy days, we bought two panels for each freezer. This control turns the solar panels off and on. Now we have a small battery backup. So between the solar panels, the energy efficient motors, insulation and battery backups, why can't the entire festival go solar? Batteries are not economically viable. You need to do what's called a grid connect, where during the day you produce more power than you use and you give it to the grid. And then at night, when you use more power, when you come home, you they trade it back to you. For 10 months, we'd be using almost no electricity, but and we'd give them a lot of electricity. But unfortunately, looking at it from their side, for two months, we need this huge amount of electricity. So they've got to have all this generating capacity just for two months when we use it. So it, it's understandable that that's not in their best interest. So for now, Don Felipe's will have to be the only solar powered stand at the Renfest. But that isn't keeping Phil Perry from taking a show on the road. I do a show down in uh, Corpus Christi. I show up with my solar panels and they flat don't believe me. They don't believe that I've got a freezer working on solar panels. People come over constantly trying to find me running a generator. So to all the doubting Thomases out there who still don't believe, Phil Perry would like to invite you out to the Texas Renaissance Festival to do a little investigating of your own. And he wouldn't mind if you bought a few of these chocolate-covered treats. You know, to keep your energy up.